Whoa, I cannot focus on the past I'm trying to focus on the future You make a move and I'ma do you Don't let no pretty smile fool you I cannot grow up like a loser I'm trying to get to it What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video with your girl Zilk Nasty. I'm back with a little crazy topic today. I'm Man. sorry, it's 7 a.m. day. You just wake up, popping up out your sleep. Man. Yes. You want some juice? Yes. Dang, can you say good morning? Say hi. <laughs> we just had got it not too long ago. And Koi came right in and laid down. And no, I need to, I said, I need to vlog. I need to have a talk with the gang about, you know, what's going on with this generation and relationships. Because, bro, I'm I'm starting to hate it out here. I, I, I think I'm going to be single to the day I die, y'all. I, I really do. I really think I'm going to be single to the day I die. Because, hold up, let me, let me get comfortable. Hold on. Let's talk about it. Hold on. Let me get comfortable because we really got to talk about this shit. This is my issue right here. Why do y'all niggas keep trying to date out of y'all text bracket or, like, out of y'all caliber or like get females that y'all know y'all can't afford like you know if you was to get this girl you couldn't afford her bills her nothing so most likely if you're in a relationship with her you probably be in secret competition with her because you're intimidated by her let's start there so my thing with these is why is it okay to x for you know sex and everything else that y'all want but when a female asks for some money, it's a problem. My thing is, that ain't free. That definitely ain't free. And if y'all so comfortable and it's so easy to ask for that, why do females be scared to ask for money? My whole thing with niggas now is, like, I tell them, like, bro, I don't want no relationship. Like, I'm not trying to go there with you. I ain't even trying to be smart. I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. I'm not trying to do none of that. But I know it ain't that. If I work to get myself certain things and I like my lifestyle to be a certain way, why would I settle? Do y'all understand what I'm saying? Like, why settle? Like, I, I don't get that. Like, people be wanting you to lower your standards, settle, uh, get with them, hook up with them, to make them look good, to prove a point to their friends, or basically, like, to use you as a trophy to, like, yeah, I got her, I hit her. Like, yeah, that's mine, ain't no nigga. Or they try to get you before the next nigga gets you. You know, like, it be like a little game, like a competition with them. But this the thing, like, I'm not no game, and I'm in my late 20s now. Damn near touching 30. I'm growing up. I don't, I don't got that little girl mindset no more. I'm looking at a man different now. The way I'm looking at a man is like, if I could do all this for myself, what, what make him so special? Like, what can he do for me that I can't? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what can he teach me? I'm not trying to be a gold digger. I'm not trying to use a man, none of that. But when I get with a man, we have to be able to build. Like, we have to be able to, like, a relationship is like a partnership. It's a business too. But, like, I want to be with somebody that, I could go up with like I don't want to have to get in a relationship and build you up or hear your sad story or you know you're not there and I'm somewhere like no you need to date on your level that's what I learned like so I'm single right now because I haven't came across nobody on my level and it's not speaking cocky it's not doing none of that I've been chilling for the longest I ain't been getting dressed I'd be in the house I'll really be stacking my money minding my business but it's to the point I'm frustrated and I'm getting tired of these these men they want to argue about dumb stuff because you don't want to be in a relationship with them and they ain't got enough for nothing to offer you nothing like boy, you trying to offer some some like I I could get that from anywhere like anytime, but I don't want that. Like you know what I've been doing celibacy. I love it. I'm loving this new woman. I'm becoming. I be home with my son. I be minding my business. Like I'm trying to have it so when I leave this earth, this little boy is set. If I got problems, why would I be laid up with a grown man who can't even do nothing for me? Like, no, for real, y'all, for real. In the comments, like, we really need to talk about this because it's to the point, like, I'm getting irritated. Like, stop coming at me. If I say I don't want a relationship, respect it, move on. If you want a relationship and I'm saying that's not that, oh, go find somebody else. Why well, put the energy towards me? I feel like I'm not done healing. I was in a relationship maybe two years ago. You know, I went through some deep issues with that. You don't just get over shit like that overnight. I got over it for the most part, but I feel like I'm not ready for a good man. And it's like, 
I feel like I was sabotaging it because I went through so much trauma. I'm so used to toxic. And I feel like I got a little bit more areas to healing in myself. Because like I said, nobody is perfect in relationships. Yes, it was the other person sometimes, but it was also me too. I'm grown enough to admit that. Men is not understanding. Like, they want to go from relationship to relationship, but y'all don't want to heal. And then y'all break the female that y'all wind up getting with, which is not cool. Why break that lady down that was sitting in the house minding her business? She didn't know you. She didn't need you. You came into her life and basically want to sabotage you when when you know like i'm doing good without nobody so if i'm doing good i'm taking care of my son i'm on the road by myself that's how it need to be like if a man not coming in and you're not adding to me or you not letting me see like oh i know with this man if i was the fall he would be able to pick me back up or if he was the fall i'm able to pick him back up most of the time you picking these bum ass niggas up like nope listen I'm not trying to cuss none of it, but it's just like it's getting tight now, yo. I'm telling you, worry about your money, be by yourself. Because most of these men, they're being leeches, they're trying to live off females, they're looking for mama wives. We ain't got time for that, gang. We on the bag, especially if you you a chick that's about your money. And I'm being real with y'all. Like, don't don't put up with no bullshit no more. We don't want to hear no sob stories no stop moving men that's not on your level inside your house stop bringing these men in your space like interrupting your peace like i'm on a peaceful journey and you want to argue with me about being in relationships and i did this topic because that last several days i've been arguing with men who are mad that i don't want a relationship i'm not sleeping with these men nothing like they just they didn't look like bro running me down like running me down like I, and I be saying to myself, like, well, I'm never running down with chick who keeps saying she worry about, she trying to worry about her money right now. She don't want to go there. I'm I'm purposely telling you I don't want to hurt you. It's in the third. I would respect me instead of me playing with your feelings and taking your money and running off. That's the nut shit. I don't have to do that because I could take care of myself. Like, do, do y'all get where I'm coming from? I'm just saying, like, this generation is the worst right now chicks is messing with other chicks men it's like seven girls the one one man right now like everybody is just cool with it or they or or the chicks is stupid so low they like oh yeah you could cheat but just don't let me find out about it or they mindset now is oh if he cheat on me um i'm gonna cheat back so yeah be prepared to get a big dead to you y'all doing everything but leaving these niggas like, y'all really are. Y'all doing everything but fucking leaving these niggas. Y'all cheating back. Y'all letting them do shit. Y'all basically bringing their baggage from their last relationship with y'all. Half of these niggas don't even take care of their goddamn kids and y'all with them. This shit just be absurd. Like, the shit I be seeing that be going on in this generation right now, I will be like, Lord, help them. Yes, baby. Yes. Eat, eat. E -E. Okay, two. Mommy got two more minutes in the video, okay? And I got you, okay? I promise. What you want? Pancakes? Yeah. And you want some sausages or bacon? Yeah. You want both? Okay. Mommy gonna hook you up. Baby shark? You want to show the baby shark? But yeah, like this little boy is my world. I don't got time no more to yeah. hang out. Niggas want to see you. Yeah. Niggas want to do all this dumb stuff. Like, we growing up, y'all. That's all I'm saying. So I'm like, you know what? Let me talk to YouTube. Let me holler at y'all this morning. Stop quit. It's copyright. Don't play that. Uh, let me let me holler at YouTube. Hold on. Hold on. Mommy recording, right? Go over there. Go in your room and play with your toys. Yeah. No, then stop playing that. That's copyright. Go ahead. You gonna get mommy no money for this video? You want mommy not to make no money? Yeah. So why you why you doing that? Crazy. I spend on you. That's your money. So act like you know. No. Do you hear me? It's something else. I'm trying. I'm gonna act like I ain't hear that because we on camera. But um, yeah, go. Just be smart. That's all I'm saying. Like these men is acting like they the new females. Like I don't know. I just can't wait till I run into that man that make me feel like he a man that make me feel like if something was to ever go wrong, you know, I know. For a fact, I'll be able to depend on him. I know that that man ain't even thinking about trying to cheat on me or trying to hurt me or trying to, you know, young bull stuff. And that's what a lot of these men out here is going through. 
they're hurting chicks because they never grew up yet. And because you never grew up, I'm supposed to, you know, deal with the bullshit. So that's why I said date at your level. Date at, you know, date, make sure they act their age. Make sure they grown up. Date somebody, you know, who didn't travel, who didn't got their own crib, car, who's established already. Somebody who you ain't got to establish. Not somebody who want to drive your car, who want to move in your crib, who want to reap your benefits and treat you good for the first couple months and then switch up when they know they got you. We over there, okay? That's why I said. Next nigga play with me. I ain't, yeah. First 48 gang. I ain't, I ain't having it. So... To protect that, to prevent that, to, you know, all the dumb stuff going on. Stay single. Worry about your money. And that's that. But, yeah, y'all, I think this was like a little girl talk conversation for us. It's just like this generation of dating is really horrible. And that's probably the title of the video. Like, I, I just really can't believe what's going on out here like yo what happened to being in love what happened to mutual interest what happened to people actually liking each other it's like nobody out here likes each other anymore everybody's out here using each other or trying to get over on somebody hey yo i'm about to throw baby shark across the room now cut it out i said it's copyright now cut it out but i tickle you but the tickle monster get you okay you want the tickle monster to get you you want the tickle monster to get you? You want the tickle monster to get you? All right, then. Act like you know. All right, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. See, that's why I'm happy I got a penthouse because I could just go to the other side and, like, matter of fact, you want to fuck with me? I'm going to your room. Gang, I probably go in his room and end the vlog. Because here he come. Here he come. He coming to start with me. And I'm going to your room. So she won't be in my room invading my privacy. Now I'm about to come in your room. Okay? So you act like you can't go in your room. Alright, come here. Come here. Come here. Talk to YouTube like a big boy. Let me pick you up. Come here. Say what's up. Now he wants stuff. But yeah, go. I'm about to end the vlog. Say we about to end the vlog. We about to make breakfast. We got in the house a couple hours ago. We passed out. Yeah. Okay, mommy's going to get it. All right. All right, YouTube. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for listening to what I had to say. Thanks for listening to my little rant. We got a thousand dollar giveaway. Don't forget to comment. Thanks for listening to what I had to say. Thanks for listening to my little rant. We got a thousand dollar giveaway going on right now. If you broke for 10K subs, make sure y'all give me the 10K subs, gang. I'm working. I'm trying to stay consistent. I'm trying to upload more. I'm trying to be there for y'all. I'm trying to give y'all a little bit more interesting content. But I don't know any YouTubers in Philly. I'll be wanting to collab. Um, I'm taking a trip to Houston, May 19th through the 24th. So we will have a first travel vlog on our channel. You know, when I went to Miami and all that, I wasn't a YouTuber at the time. So I didn't never get to vlog me going to Canada and all our other trips. Like we took a trip to Ontario, Canada and stuff like that and it was really fun out there we want to go see niagara falls and shit and miami and all that so this will be my first time in houston if y'all know some um houston youtubers i should collab with i'll be out there for a couple days you know tag them in the comments try to get us a collab like y'all help me out gang help you know send these people my way y'all help y'all favorite youtubers out and i swear to god i'll be doing more give more money in my giveaways than half of your um favorite youtubers so help me out you know um Tag your favorite Houston YouTubers because we coming and we coming May 19th through the 24th for my cousin um Houston birthday trip. Then after that, my birthday is June 26th. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I'm really, really, really trying to get the Turks and Caicos for my birthday. But it's looking like it's not gonna happen. I don't have anybody to go with. I really don't want to go across the country by myself. And um it's like people broke right now. Nobody has no traveling money. So I don't know what to do. But hopefully, pray for me, y'all. Hopefully, we get a Turks and Cake Go vlog. But all right, y'all. My child is hungry. I got to end this vlog. It's going on 8 a.m. And yeah, I'm trying to edit and get this video up for y'all. All right, Koi. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye bye so we go eat. eat. Say bye bye so we can eat. All right. Bye, gang. Say bye, boss, baby. I'm trying to get to it. That nigga hating and I knew it. We sure don't fake it in the.